we're gonna make solar coffee today using the GSI four cup espresso the camping version why solar because we're using a solar generator just like I roasted my coffee with the electricity from the solar generator which is charged by solar panels I'm boiling some water right now so how do you measure enough coffee for the espresso maker well the funnel works as a measure if you roughly fill the funnel to the top that's enough coffee for your for your um, mocha machine and we're just going to grind up these beans while the coffee boils while the water boils so it's a good idea to use hot water almost to the boil inside your mocha pot because that gives you coffee without burning the coffee a much milder brew much more flavorful so the funnel should just about be filled to the top with medium fine ground coffee but this one you don't tamp down it's not an espresso which you tamp the grounds down you just level them off filling up the basket as the water comes to a boil in the kettle we're doing the grinding so just to the top of the basket is enough this is GSI 4 cup notice it doesn't have any markings on it because this is actually made in the same factory as GSI but it's the version where it costs $12 instead of $50 the problem with America right now is these if you buy them with the brand name on it GSI stamped on the bottom and on here you're going to be paying four times as much I don't understand why that is but the same factory in China that makes the GSI one makes this one solid stainless steel perfectly good and it's only $12 that, in my opinion that's a bargain and you fill it to the base with water up to here just below the safety valve this is a safety valve pressure release valve and I'm going to use the hot water now which is almost boiled just to the base of the valve another trick I'm not going to do it today but another trick I like to do is to put a AeroPress paper filter over this filter and it gives you a cleaner cup one thing to have ready though I'm not doing that today one thing to have ready is a towel tea towel you need a tea towel because the bottom chamber is now hot and slippery and you need to tighten this so you need something to grip and hold on to the hot lower chamber Now it's ready to go, we put it back on the heat, and this time it will brew much quicker in roughly two minutes. And the beauty of these electric hot plates, this is only 500 watts, so you can run it off your Bluetti EB70, which has an inverter capable of 1000 watts. So the 500 watts for the heater is no problem for the Bluetti, and it's just hot enough for a mocha pot and you can regulate the heat down here with this switch the trick with uh, good mocha pot uh, coffee is to reduce the heat as soon as it starts coming out of the spout so we'll see how long it takes for the coffee to come out of the spout have your tea towel ready to grab this take it off the heat as necessary because you want to avoid the hissing and sputtering that comes at the end of the uh, shot I can hear it starting to boil and it's starting to come out. Right now I'm turning the heat down. I've turned the heat off. There's still heat in the hot plate, enough to continue brewing the coffee. The 
there should be a nice trickle a nice solid trickle of coffee without any hissing and spurting and sputtering coffee everywhere you don't want to be covered in hot water that's looking very good that's just the way we want it to extract slow and steady when it speeds up then you remove it from the heat and it's finished that's how to make mocha pot coffee using the GSI 4 cup espresso maker this one is actually the same model, same thing, but without the branding on the la labeling on the pot. But it is a GSI 4 cup, costing $12 instead of $50. And that's how you make mocha pot coffee.